Hello everyone, welcome to Fading.net. So in this particular session, we are going to talk about five design principle of object oriented programming that is called solid principle. Before moving forward, please subscribe to our channel. We will start with definition of each of the design principle followed by their real world example. In the end, we will dive into the code to make you understand how you can apply them in your project in your code base and how you were previously violating them. So here you can see against each design principle we have two console application. One will show you how you were previously violating them and second one will show you how you can correctly apply them in your project. So without wasting time let's jump on to the session. So what is solid principle? So as I said it is basically a set of five design principle of object oriented programming that helps every developer to write robust, flexible and maintainable code. So what do I exactly mean by these three features? Let me explain that. So let's start with the robust feature. It means an application that handles faults and errors gracefully without breaking down the application is said to have robust in nature. Let's say an example, an application may break down due to any unexpected input that it don't expect or that it don't handle it. But the robust application handles these situation gracefully and does not allow application to be break down. So now next feature is flexible. It means a system that promotes extensibility and not changeability is said to have flexible nature. Suppose uh, let's say an example a change made to an existing application or a change made to an existing code base or an existing feature may bring out new issues. Hence always go for the extensibility and not for the changeability. So now the last one is maintainability. So maintainability basically ensures that code remains clean and understandable to other developers so that they can easily manage and modify your code. So now let's start with our first design principle that is single responsibility principle which is basically the S in solid. Suppose you wrote some code for an application and you left the organization. Now when new developer joins that particular organization and if your code is pretty much clean maintainable so it will make the life of new developer whole easy. So here as per definition it says a class should have only one reason to change or you can say a class should have only one job or one responsibility to do or in other words you can say do not load a single class with multiple responsibility. So here let's say an example uh, suppose you have a multifunction device that can print, scan and fax for you. But if that single device is somehow got breakdown, then you won't be able to do either of the print, scan or fax operation. Also you won't be able to know the actual issue is lies with which of its functionality. But if you would have three separate devices for each print, scan and fax, then you can easily address the issue individually. Uh, hence you can say that one part of your application will not go to affect the entire application. So that's a big motto here. And that is the reason why I said that there should be only one reason to change and there should be only single responsibility lies with each class. There is one more example. Let's say you are a chef working in a restaurant. So, so now if restaurant owner asks you to take the order, to cook the food and to serve the food as well. So it will be a multiple responsibility on you and you won't be able to perform each task correctly. So that's why we said do not load a class with multiple responsibility. So now let's quickly jump onto the code. So here I have two project. Let's start with how we are violating the single responsibility principle. So here you can see I have an employee class that has some properties to get or set the values as well as it has three methods 
or you can say it has three operations to do that is to calculate the salary of each employee in a company then it generates a report and in the end it sends a mail to its client so here generally to calculate salary we have a defined formula that is wage into number of hour worked but let's say you want to provide a bonus to each of the employee of the company then in that case you have to modify this method like this like you want to give $50 to each of the employees so this is the one reason to make the change now let's say in generate report function uh, let's say you have a new format in which you want the report like this you want a new format called world so now this is the second reason to make the change so in the end you can see uh, this method sends a mail to client using SMTP protocol but let's say in, in, but let's say instead of SMTP protocol you want to use some different protocol so again you have to make a change in this method so all this means that you have multiple regions to make change in employee class also you have loaded this single class of employee with multiple responsibility which is actually the case for violating the single responsibility principle now let's see how we can correct this problem so here I have another project SRP that will show you how you can correctly employ how you can correctly apply this single responsibility principle so now in this particular project you can see I created an employee class that basically act as a model to hold the properties to get and set then what I did I created a separate class for each job that is to calculate salary to generate report and to send the email so basically one class one responsibility so here suppose if you want to make a change in any of the class like in salary calculator class you want to add some bonus or in report class you want to add a new report word or in email center class you want to change the protocol you want to change the from and to recipient so so it basically means there will always be one reason to make a change in a class at the same time a class has only one job a class has only one responsibility to do so in that way it is basically followed the single responsibility principle in a correct way so i hope single responsibility principle is pretty much clear to you wait for my next video for rest of the design principle uh, meanwhile i can provide you the github link where you can download this code for your reference in case you like my video please subscribe my channel to show your support thanks